welcome back my friend with another video from Franklin Horner drop in and today in our video we are uh, recording a circle tab for you and also at the end we have an activity for you and it's magic number and talking about the season right now about the leaves everywhere the pumpkin everywhere so when the circle, when we finish the circle, don't go away, stay for the activity. Sun. So the sun, actually the sun came out uh, between the two sun. I know, it's nice. So yeah. I need your help, everybody to sing Mr. Sun. Ready? Let's put our hands up for Mr. Sun. Up, up, up. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on Golden sun is hiding behind the tree. Peekaboo! This little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on? Please shine down on? Please shine down on me. Aisha, yeah. uh, we always sing Mr. Sun, yeah. but Mr. Sun is not an inclusive song. song. Oh. So we all gonna try to sing just Golden Sun oh. without Mr. Sun. So do you wanna help me Aisha? Sure, yeah. I need your help too my friend, let's all sing Golden Sun instead of Mr. Sun. Oh, golden sun, sun, golden, golden sun, won't you please shine down on me? Oh, golden sun, sun, golden, golden sun, was hiding behind the tree. Peekaboo! These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, golden sun, sun. Golden, golden sun, want to please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Good singing, everybody. You did a great job from the first time, actually. And I know Aisha, she has a very nice yeah. song too. I don't know why. Are you sleeping? Oh, are you sleeping? That's yeah. beautiful. So now we are going to sing it in, in English first. And then in French. Okay, that's yes. a sound good for me. Yeah. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding dong dong, ding dong dong. French now? Yes. Bye. 
So our activity for today, as you see, it's a matching number with animals. But I did a little setup 
because this is the season the season when you go outside right now the only thing you see on the floor it's leaves and pumpkin everywhere and also a lot of people visiting a lot of farms right now pumpkin farms and they will see animals and they will see the the leaves on the floor they will see the hay also it's everywhere a lot of people decorating their houses right now with pumpkin and leaves and uh, for the fall and for the halloween too and i extend a little bit of the activity and i put some animals also uh, to animals to match and animals puzzle and it's all and i put also some books about leaves and about animals so activity is gonna be great for the little one i'm just gonna show it to you and it's we gonna match the number so as you see i have a little horsey number one cow number two it goes inside the house and number three it's a i believe number three i believe it's a sheep and number four it's a little piggy and number five it's a sheep so i guess this one is a goat here number three and this is a sheep number five and number six as you see number six goes with number six it's a little chicken So this is a great activity for your little one when he's learning about numbers and also it's a great activity we bring the outdoor inside so leaves pumpkin corn everything and also will be more great when you add some books to the activity for the puzzle it's a as you as you know it's a great activity for eye hand coordination and also it's a great for the children for the fine motor skills so they can let me find the horse you cannot find the horse so the children can uh, improve their uh, uh, fine motor skills and always in the drop-in we add some like uh, little things like uh, the uh, to for the puzzles to try some some more to try to use some of the words uh, that uh, encourage the child when he uh, play especially with the puzzles like in out some different press push turn over turn it over so it's uh, it's all great activity to do with your little one at home you can bring some leaves while you when you go for a walk you can bring some branches this is the one I, I um, painted in the other video. So I use it today here on the table. Uh, yes, and uh, it's all a great activity. So learning matching skills it's a great activity for the children uh, being able to match items and they explain why they go together is important for cognitive skills and ability learning to match shapes numbers letters help children as they learn to recognize the number and the letters then they will build the words